Hey everybody, it's Robert Earl again at the Eco Ranch out here in beautiful Terlingua, Texas. Tonight, and it is nighttime, although the thing doesn't always show us that, tonight I'm going to show you something that's very important in many instances. Not in all, but in many. And that's how to shoot a laser line. Now, when you build a house, typically, when you build a house, you're starting with a level basement or a level foundation or a level footing, and you build up from there. And that's fine, and that's the way it should be. But there are some times when you're not building from a level foundation, like where we are here. Debbie and I initially had planned on building uh, our home over yonder. And so that was going to be a, a bare open space. We were going to do a foundation and build up from there. After we got building here, we liked this location so well, we decided to put the house here. Well, the travel trailer's in the best location, and I built the roof over over the travel trailer, built everything from there, and I'm left with all this bare ground that's on level. We have to level it out. Now, when you shoot a level line, typically you're going to shoot a level line inside a building, uh, and you're going to, for example, if you're doing wainscoting halfway up, you're going to shoot that level line, that'll show you where you want your wainscoting to be. <clears throat> In this case here, we're going to shoot the level line because we need to know where the floor is level. And I think you can see through here, if you look way through by my flinging pajamas there, that's the level of the floor. So we have to level the floor all the way around here into the garage to this. That's where we're going to shoot the level line for, as well as many other things. For example, these posts, these 4 by 4s that I have here, they all have to be marked and cut like we did in a previous video. So, I'm going to go ahead and get it set up and start marking. I've got, the li uh, I've got the laser level out. I can turn it on, and it's spinning, and it's shooting a line now, so I can see that line everywhere now that it's almost dark. Uh, so, um, we're going to shoot that. I'm going to mark all my posts. I'll be back to you as soon as I get my post. Well, okay, folks, if you can see me, the level line is set all the way around. You can see the laser level is spinning. I'm going to take you off tripod and try to show you the line. Uh, I'd love to say it's exact, but it isn't. It's almost a quarter inch off. It's like 3 sixteenths off all the way around. Hey, in a 3,000 square foot house, if, you're, if your floor, which is what I'm going for, is the floor, if that's 3 sixteenths off from one corner to the other, you've done well. So, let's take a look at the uh, line level spinning and... Um, We'll go from there. All right, you can see the red uh, the red line on the travel trailer, and what we've done. Uh, I don't know what you can see. I'm going to have to look at it later, but you can see the red line going there, all the way around, hitting all my posts. It hits every one of the posts, and that's important because it had to hit this post here and the one behind it, which I'm blocking. That post there so that I could set my floor height. But again, you can see it going all the way across. Here's a cool look at it going across that two by six there. So that line is level. Now the height doesn't matter where that height is, it just has to be the same height. Um, it has to be the same height all the way around, which it is. Now my floor, which we're judging by what's over here, again, I don't know what you can see, but the floor is 52 inches below the line. That's where the floor has to be. So now tomorrow when I come back and we'll, uh, we'll finish the line, I'll show you how I actually want to finish the line. Then I'll know from here, from that post there, we're going to go down 52 inches and I know where to set my floor. And that's very important because that tells me, since this in front of us is the bathroom, that's going to tell me where to set my plumbing because the plumbing's got to have a certain drop uh, in order to work correctly and we'll get into that tomorrow and I'll um, I'll be back then of course it'll only be like I say two or three seconds for you good night hey good morning everybody it's daytime as you can see and what I've done is I've gone around to all the posts that we marked last night and taped them and I've taped above the line so what I'm going to do now because it's going to be it may be a couple of months before I get to actually use these lines what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint below the line
like so. And that way, when I remove the tape, or if the tape comes off, I'll still have my line right here that shows me where my level line is all the way around the house. And again, just to recap, like I had said earlier, we built this place initially just to be a roof over the trailer, and the house was going in a different location. Changed our mind, excuse me, changed our mind, and now we're putting the house right here. In fact, we're sitting in... Um, you're sitting in the stable, and I'm sitting uh, over here in what would be the family room. So we have to level the floors as well as the walls and everything. Since we don't have a level pad like we would have in most ordinary houses, we have to level from here. So this level line is going to be my guide. It's going to be the master guide as to everything that we do. And it's a good thing I did uh, run it because my floor in the one corner has got to come up almost 17 inches. So... Um, we're going to go from there. I'll finish doing this, and I uh, hope you learned something about setting a level line. Um, if, you, um, are going to, if you're going to get pinheaded like me and decide to do something uh, on the, not on the spur of the moment, but change your mind halfway through a project. Take care, guys. Have a great day.